I still am, I guess, you know, I, I don't use street drugs or anything. Um, I have to go be, you know, under like a doctor's care all the time because of what I did to myself. And I did it out of ignorance and I wouldn't want to see anyone else do it. It's just, you know, you're just sentencing yourself to a life of misery and slavery. And um, somehow I've been one of the luckier people. I'm almost 40 and I'm still alive and it doesn't make sense. And I want to keep living, you know. So I'm going to try and keep out of trouble. And um, it seems to be a lot easier to do for me now than it used to. I am like... Um, more aware of a lot of things, you know. When I was like a rock star, as long as I was, it was like a real fantasy type existence. It didn't have anything to do with reality. And um, I fell for it and I just fell for the illusion and I had no way to judge things, you know. And I always got away with murder. arrangement for any song I play, but I don't stick to that. You know? um, it, it is definitely the most comforting way to approach it. I feel very secure, but that's, I'm trying to go beyond that. My own way, my, you know, little way with my limited way I can, that's what I'm trying to do. A lot of new songs last night? Some yeah, of them? I, all of them were just about new, except some of the covers I did. I did Voodoo Child and um, Like a Rolling Stone and then Chinese Rocks and I Want to Live and the rest was all new songs I wrote this year. Where's that stuff coming from? What inspires you? Ah, it's all autobiographical and my little, um, you know, it, it stems out of my degree in streetology and, you know, like that kind of stuff. and. Um, it's like, I, I don't know, it's like some kind of beautiful anger or something, I don't know. I tried um, to, to write a little romantically this time. I've been trying to do that for years, you know, and um, I think I finally could do it this time, you know. I don't know if it's worth it, but I think it is. Yeah, it is. Anything to be good over bad is worth it, you know. But to try to like sing about love, it's like kind of was difficult, you know. But um, I was like breaking up with my wife after 11 years. I wanted to write a song, you know, a bye one to her, so I did. And then I got a new girlfriend, so I started writing all these songs about her, and I never did that before, you know. And um, then I write some. Um, I had a song up there, what I wrote about the Ramones, it was, um, I forget this, this uh, literature term, a metaphor, you know, where I, I um, the metaphor I used was I compared the Ramones to a pet dog that I had as a child, and this is just a fantasy, you know, the story, but it relates to the situation where I have to take them and shoot them because they're too old, you know, and then I bury them, and I dream about them, you know. That's what it is. It's just like some kind of visual dream that I put down like that and sing about. And everybody has told me they liked it, that the lyrics were good, and I, I have my self-respect. When I first saw her, it was love at the sight. She was just standing there, her hair blowing in the wind. If I could have moved a mountain, I'd just have done it for her. Where does love come from? Where does love come from? 
writer I'm used to write I used, I used to have like a boss you know Gary Kerfus and he'd say well I want this or that and I just got used to I could just write to order you know and I can write anything you know and I have like tapes and when they hear it they start pushing these oh we want a $250,000 deal and we want you to be the next Bon Jovi you know and I go hey I know you know I don't want that you know I'd be laughed out of town you know that's not me and I say you know, so I, I've been on like a smaller label, two of them, like I was on Profile with one of my rap records a long time ago, and then I was on, on Beggar's Banquet, and I had a good time, and it was fun again, you know, and I felt like they were interested in, in my band or me, and they were really trying hard, and they, they, they were more fans of the music, and I like the... You know, I can't be that narrow-minded. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. Maybe I just know the label I was on. And they were really good, you know. Without Seymour Stein, there would have been no punk rock, really. Um, but I, c I can't see myself being nurtured like I want for major label. You know? I don't know if that's true, but just from what I know. You know? Even Sire? I don't want to go on Sire and all that, you know, they gave me a release and I, I, I don't want to go because um, of the Ramones, you know. Get some distance? Sure, I need it, you know, I can't stick up and fight every second of my life, I'm tired of it. You know, I want to go away, I might even uh, move to Canada, I'm thinking about it. Friends, you know, boyhood friends, and all of a sudden make it right away, and that's that don't. Happen. 